Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it, it has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside, coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. The big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Spain take the early advantage. Crosses it. Get that clear. Gets it back. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1 0. And it's played forward. Has he picked him out? Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Daniel Alves. That's great strength on the ball. Modric plotting from out on the right-hand side. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's one! They scored! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from the answer to Spain can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Oh, that's lovely. In towards the middle. Keeper has beaten it away. Forward it goes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. It's the first half compared with your expectation. But it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why do they from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Staying in control at half-time, 
2-0. So we're just settling back into this second half. Nice touch. George. And it's Modric. Nelson Semedo. Rashford gets on the end of it. Hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. And Dyke plays it over to the other flank. Dani Alves plays it forward. Spain with this handy looking 2 0 lead. They are looking comfortable. Managed to get it away. Van Dyke. Muller. George. Pellegrini. He's got the ball glued to his feet. And that's been leave it clear. Muller. Modric. Rodri has created one goal already. Now surely! And now they can launch a counter. Done very well to intervene. Bullock already, of course, on the score sheet. Sanchez. Pellegrini. And it's Muller, Modric, Muller. Juan Fran, that's been drilled forward. Muller. Spain still 2 0 up and looking now to see it through. And here's Rash, it's Rashford! Yes! And the lead is free! It is surely done! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers, too. It was all very well drilled. Sao Paulo are making a change now. Spain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Hernanes. Daniel Alves. Hernanes. Daniel Alves. Hernanes. Sticks in a foot to win it back. And that is that. A great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. Could you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Spain showed us why it's so important to seize the initiative. Once in front, they grew in belief and, and rarely looked at risk. So, just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.